Ten perfect questions to ask on the、perfect. first date to really get to know someone. Okay, and this is supposed to be supposedly the perfect, perfect ten questions on your first date. The perfect ten questions to ensure you never get a second date. Don't do it. Hello, my Choo Choo family. I'm your fun-loving Apple vlogger Tom Choo Choo. <laughs> I got my new Apple Watch SE. Okay. Oh, I actually like it. It looks pretty cool. Yeah, it looks is that fancy. Blue? No, it's black. It looks blue. Okay. Today we're eating another <laughs> keto mukbang <laughs> with my sister Sandy Cheese. <laughs> I'm literally no one new. I've I... been here every time. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to Tom's channel. Surf and turf. Surf and turf. So we have steak. We have. Bacon wrapped asparagus and also salmon. I was like, "We're being so fancy. You made bacon wrapped asparagus, and what did you tell me?"、Um. He was like, "I used bacon because it was about to expire." But that's true, though.、But、it's good right now, right? Yeah, it's just cold because you, you、oh, were late. Took a while. Two hours later. Well, let's dig in because we've been waiting for this food. So. Yes. And we have some interesting topic that we are going to react to. Okay. Yeah. I can do that. Yeah, let's dig in. Where are you starting? I don't. I'm gonna、Santa. start with the steak. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well I'm gonna start here. This is cooked though, right? Because this is fish. Yes. How、It's、positive are you? A hundred percent. See, it's fully cooked. Look. I requested medium rare. Um, it's、Ooh. rare enough to actually get a medium rare in my kitchen. Different standards. Sorry. Damn, you can eat this bomb during keto. I wouldn't mind. Wouldn't mind. Yeah. No,、yeah. I would mind because I need my cupcakes. Mmm. Mmm. So good. Well, I'm gonna try the almost expired bacon asparagus. You try it yet? What the? I tried the asparagus while I was cooking. Okay. Did you try the almost expired bacon? Wow. How am I going to do this? Ew! Can you not smack your food? <laughs> It's good. Hmm. Hmm. Good. It's safe to eat. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> oh, it's nice. See, it's pink inside of this New York steak. That was a big bite. So I hope you guys had a very nice Black Friday and also a very nice Thanksgiving.、Mm. I got my Switch, the bundle. That hasn't come yet. That hasn't come yet. But、okay. all the other games that I bought came. Why are you buying a Switch? I feel like no one's buying a Switch at this time because everyone already like got everyone, over the hype. Everyone, yeah, got over that Animal Crossing. Oh, are you、life. are you gonna get that? Okay, cool. I refuse, people. Mm -hmm. I refuse、mm. to just fish your life away. Fish fishing? There's like chopping wood and fishing. Why? Wait, why? I don't know.、That's、When you're,、it? I don't know how to play that、It's、game. It's the quarantine, huh, you guys? <laughs> yeah. We stooped down. <laughs> This is really good. Good job. Did、yeah. you always cook, or did you learn to cook because of keto? I learned to cook because of keto. Okay,、But、I was gonna I say、always? you never cooked like this for me when I was young. Because. I wasn't needed to cook. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting. Be sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. So I'm gonna say in the beginning, so you can actually do it. So demanding. <laughs> yeah. This. <laughs> yeah. It's very. I mean, this is medium rare, right? Mhm.、Mm、yeah. So see. Mmm. Okay. No, but earlier you said bloody, and I said that's rare. Because rarely anyone orders that <laughs> bloody. So today, I look up online and I found this topic because、oh? you know during winter a lot of people wanted to hug. Cuffing season. Cuffing. Is that what not what that we're、mean? talking about? Wait, what are you talking about? Cuddle. Yeah, cuffing season. Oh. Cuffing season. That means like you've never heard of cuffing season. No, I've never. Heard. Cuff. What do you think it means? Like coughing, like you just cough. Cough. 
like cuff. Oh, oh. Um, cuffing season. Like I thought you were like talking about down. COVID. Oh, that too. Unfortunately. No. But you know cuffing season. No. No, <laughs> no yeah. It's like when you're tied down in a relationship or mm. you're trying to be your cuff. That makes sense. Cuffing season. Yeah. So it's like everyone wants that for the holiday season to cuddle. Okay. Something new today. So I read up on this, this thing. It's called 10 perfect questions to ask on the perfect. first date to really get to know someone. Okay. We're just gonna do reaction of all these questions. I kind of skimmed through it and I'm like, why would you ask those questions on your first date? So I want Sandy to kind of react to that too. Okay, put me to the test. Yep, let's start with the first one. Hit me. On your first date, right? Mm -hmm. What makes you unique? <laughs> <laughs> You'll it. find out, baby. I Relax. <laughs> I thought this question is really demanding and it's almost like an interview. Mm hmm Yeah. What makes you unique? What are your strengths and weaknesses? <laughs> yeah, what do I need to find out? What makes you a good team player? On your first date. That's so weird. Yeah, you should avoid all these 10 questions. I think. Okay, yeah, I think that's what we're doing here. <laughs> yeah. Next. What are some random fun facts about you? This really does feel like an interview. Fun facts about you. I wouldn't ask anyone this. I would, if I would recall first date. Oh, um, have you been hit with this or something? Did he pull out this list and go down the questions? One date, he came in and then he talked to me as if he wanted to ask some questions like that. So, tell me about yourself. I think that's kind of normal, but... But I still feel that's kind of... I just feel like casual weird. conversation will eventually bring out that type of information. Right, right. It just seems like you were set up on a date. Mm -hmm. It seems like it was like a setup. What are some random facts about you? Don't worry about it. <laughs> so the third question is, what's something you want to learn or wish you were better at? Mm. If you ask on your first date. <laughs> this is a weird icebreaker. <laughs> Unless you were doing a speed date. It really gets me thinking though. Like I'll actually be like, damn. What I wish I were better at. I mean, hell, there's a lot of things, but... Cooking? Which one first? <laughs> Being punctual. <laughs> yep. That's me. You? Being punctual. That's mine. You're not punctual. Oh, I think <clears throat> I am. Don't lie. It's just us I just, here. I just need to learn the punctuation. Not punctual. Grammar. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> Some weird questions. And this is supposed to be supposedly the perfect, perfect. 10 questions. On your first date. The perfect 10 questions to ensure you never get a second date. <laughs> Guys, if you ever want to get out of it, you start hitting them with these weird ass questions. The fourth, would you rather da da da? Wow. Oh, I would never play would you rather games, I don't think. Not no, on, on your first date. date. This isn't is freshly it? hunted, right? Like, I will definitely It's not live. bloody, it's pink. It's medium rare that you ask for. Would you rather, that question is very stupid on a first date. Wait, there's no example that I gave? No. This whole time I've been waiting for you to tell me. No, it's just, A or B. But I don't think I mean, it's you, a great icebreaker on would you rather. It's a good way to learn about someone's perspective on things. But I feel like there's so many other more natural ways to engage that sort of conversation. Yeah, it's like, oh, what if I die tomorrow? Will you... Will you Whoa, remember whoa, whoa. me? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> remember me. Coco! <laughs> oh, I love Coco! Yeah, but you know what I mean. Like, on a first date, nobody should do that. Did you cry watching Coco? Nope. I thought it was... No heart. I, I that... bawled watching I thought that Coco. kid was so annoying. If you haven't seen Coco, you have to see Coco. When people tell you not to do certain things, you shouldn't do it. And why did you end up going to do it? And then that's how the whole movie starts. Because he's following his passion. Next. Know any good jokes? Ew. I know. Next. Do you have it's any like, good jokes? It's like, please entertain me. I'm bored. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like, I don't want to make the effort to make you laugh. Why don't you try to make me laugh? That's so dumb. Are you sure this isn't like a troll page? What's something that bugs you? 
Why would you ask someone on the first day? You're trying to give a good impression of mm-hmm. yourself. You're like talking about all the negatives yeah. and bringing up like. You're not gonna finish all your food. <laughs> She's gonna walk out angry. Yeah. <laughs> How do you feel about AA on the first day? Go Dutch. You pay yours. I pay mine. Oh. Like, what were you thinking? I, <laughs> I thought it stood for something dirty. Anyways. I. Wait, what did you call it? A A. Yeah, A A. In China, what well, in in Taiwan, I think too, they say A A. And that means half and half. Mm-hmm. You want to split the bill? How do you use that in a sentence? Like, hey, do you want an A A? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you want, do you want do an A A? <laughs> yeah. You that want to do so A A? <laughs> you want to do A A today? <laughs> But in Chinese, it's not. It's like, Yo, AA, ma? Yeah. It's like, this meal was really good tonight. I had a lot of fun. Would you like to do AA? <laughs> <laughs> uh, would you split the bill? Of course. Next question. What's the most embarrassing thing you can remember that's happened to you? I wouldn't ask this on a first date. It's not a bad question. On a first date? I feel like it'll raise a lot of laughter. And I'm like, you laugh about yourself, you laugh with each other, mm-hmm. other person makes fun of you. I think after I see where two this is shots, going. <laughs> I'm saying this question will be more... <clears throat> um, after you drink. Yeah. Okay, yeah. It's more legit, like, okay, when you uh-huh. ask mm-hmm, after mm-hmm, a mm-hmm. few shots. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You should probably ask if you are going to ask all these jazz all them after shots. Anyways, <laughs> he doesn't remember them. He or she doesn't yeah. remember them. These are awful. What's your favorite place on earth? As opposed to Mars? <laughs> I, I, I can understand if people say like, what's the, your favorite place to visit or travel to? People, That's a very common question. I mean, I guess the answer to this will definitely tell you a lot about the person. Yeah, yeah. I understand the direction of it, mm-hmm. but there's just so many other more casual ways I get to ask. Yeah, why can't you just say, where's the best place you've traveled to or yeah, whatever? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, have you traveled around the world and like, oh, where, where's your favorite place? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Instead of saying your favorite place on Earth. Like, like I, I don't know about on Earth, but in Mars, I, <laughs> yeah. like, I like this. I'm like, oh. This question is intense. <clears throat> the next question is... Is it, do you want to do AA? <laughs> who are there special people in your life? <laughs> not you. Yeah, <laughs> not you. Go away. <laughs> I think we're pretty good at rejecting people. <laughs> Let me tell you how to fail on your first date. Yep. <laughs> we got you. If you're important enough, you're no. You'll know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait your turn, man. Number 10. I'm gonna go last one. What's something you're proud of? I think that's mm-hmm. not a bad question. Yeah. Mm-hmm. These would be a blind date. Like literally, you don't even know this person and why whoever set you up with this person, yeah. you might ask this question. Like, what are your greatest <laughs> accom- accomplishments? Yeah. Why should we hire you? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, I am a doctor. I make a certain amount of money mm-hmm. per month. Mm-hmm. Um, I want to get married and I want to have three kids. Bye. <laughs> and that's all we have for today. <laughs> what do you guys think? Leave comment down below of some question that you think it might be good on your first date. Like actually yeah. perfect questions. Yeah. Can you recall some of the first date questions that you <laughs> asked that pe- you feel awkward or you feel like it's a perfect question to ask? You know what's weird? What? I don't think I've gone on like this. Okay, this all sounds like first date as in like really getting to know each other. Mm-hmm. I feel like for me, I'm already talking to someone and getting mm-hmm. to know them. And then we decide to go out on a date. So when we go on the date, we're just doing the activity together, like watching a movie, going ice skating, or whatever it is. Like, we're just doing the activity and just, like, having fun. And then you find out about this person. As you casually talk, right? Mm -hmm. But I don't think there was ever, like, a sit down. I feel like I've already gotten to know someone a little bit, like, the basics and how they are as a person before I even hop into the first date. What would be the advice you give out to people who got set up on the first date? Don't do it. (laughs) Meet people naturally so that you know you guys will click. But you know it's so hard to meet people nowadays. Especially, Especially at my nowadays. age. It doesn't matter how old we are. It's quarantine and we can't go out. Oh yeah, that is true too. Um, 
An advice I would give for people who are going on their first date blindly. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm a very like meet with someone, get to know them a little bit more before the date. I had a few times I went on some somewhat blind date with people. People? With people, yeah. At once? Mm, no. Group interview date. session? No, no, no. Speed dating maybe? Oh, have no. you? Oh. That's so cool. I've always, no, I've never, but I've seen it in films. But I had dated three people in a row in one day. How? Breakfast, lunch, and dinner? <laughs> I know. <laughs> I like it. Hey, I was A busy. busy. <laughs> you, I think the advice I would give, <clears throat> advice I would give to you. Advice. Advice I would give to Why you. Why is there a Z in there? I don't know. Advice. Advice. Yeah. So the advice I would give you would be, don't be too awkward. That is so easier said than done. You can't help but be awkward if you feel awkward. Okay, on your first date, think before you say it. I think that's... Okay, I think that's for everything. But these are things you should be... But you know, like, normally. I don't do that. I mean, I, I personally... You are a guy. That would... I would say be yourself, but tone it down. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that an appropriate piece of advice? Like, be yourself, laugh about what you would normally laugh at, but tone it down. Uh -huh. What if it's, it's someone who's already really shy on your first date and you'll be like... <laughs> well, don't make that face for a start. <laughs> um, or if you don't eat already and then you tone it down, you might just end up anemic. <gasps> Can you stop taking <laughs> the most extreme case? I personally think smile helps. <laughs> when you chew and everything. <laughs> See, we are related. <laughs> Nod your head and <laughs> smile. <laughs> when people <laughs> ask you things. So when they ask you what's the most, what makes you unique, you're just... Mm -hmm. I think be yourself, but for the very first day, just tone it down a little bit. But be yourself. Okay. Be you yourself. should always smile. Don't make that dumb face. How do you like your food? It was really good. I finished the asparagus first. I think I'm pretty full. You have to finish that one last piece. Come on. Do you see that? He left one bite. Hit that like <clears throat> so I'll finish this. Just finish it. <laughs> <laughs> so we might go on live. YouTube live? Yep. Mm, I've never done a live before. So, see, I'm very active on Instagram. So but what, I've never done a live. So what do you think we should talk about? That's so nervous. It's going to feel like our first date with them. <laughs> I don't think it's that intimate. Oh, just don't ask us weird questions like those. Yeah, please don't sit up us on our first date, okay? You finished and your steak. Yay! That means they have to like your damn video. Yep, and you gotta like <laughs> and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our update. On that See note... See you guys the next one. Thank you, Sandy, for being here. Thanks for feeding me. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> I think whoever asks all these questions, they will not get second dates from us. I think they're salty about that. That's why they created this post so that other people fail too. <laughs> Guys, don't fall for it. We're better than that. Yeah.